In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to color grade S-Log3 footage inside of Dehancer Pro to get the best results. The things we'll cover are setting up your project to work with your Sony camera, adjustments you need to make to your clips before you even open the plugin, managing difficult contrast levels in different situations. You'll be provided with a seamless workflow that you can use every time with Dehancer Pro and get great results every time. Click on the cog wheel in the lower right hand corner to open project settings. Click on color management, change the timeline color space to Rec 709A and the output color space to same as timeline. If you're on a PC, set the color science to Rec 709. The reason why we do this is so that the exported file we see looks exactly like the one we see in DaVinci Resolve and in order to use Dehancer Pro with a camera profile, we need a Rec 709 workflow according to the official manual. On the timeline, we have five clips that are directly out of camera, not prepared at all to simulate what footage would look like if you're working solo. Click Command A to highlight all the clips, right click and select Add into New Group. The reason why we do this is so that when we make changes with Dehancer Pro in one clip, it will apply to all of the clips making it much more seamless to color grade quickly. Click on this third dot at the top to select the post group clip, then click and drag the Dehancer Pro plugin onto the node. Under the input source, select choose camera. Under vendor, choose Sony. Under camera, select your model. And under format, choose S-Log3, S-Gamut3, Sony. For now, disable film, expand, print, gain, and then click on the second dot at the top to get us to the clip level. Click on this arrow and select vector scope, then click on the settings button and enable show skin tone indicator. Now add two nodes. The first one will be for primary adjustments like exposure and contrast. The second one will be for balance. Under the balance node, adjust the temp intent to balance your image by using the skin tone indicator to guide us. Click on this arrow here and then select qualifier and hover over the skin tone. Now adjust the temp intent until the skin tones line up mostly with the skin tone indicator. Our image is now balanced. Click on the third dot at the top to select the group post clip. Scroll down to monitor and select false color IRE 16 zones. Click on the second dot at the top to get back to the clip level. Click on the node labeled primary and adjust the exposure so that our scene is well exposed. In this shot, the window is red, which means it's overexposed. So I'm gonna lower the exposure until it turns orange. Now, uncheck the false color IRE 16 zones and enable film and print. Choose Kodak 2383 from the drop down menu under print and select analog range limiter. The reason why we do this is so that we can reduce the amount of contrast. Since our scene is already quite contrasty, if your scene is more evenly lit, you may not need to do this. From the film profile drop down menu, we'll select 500T and adjust the push pull slider until we get our desired result. Choosing this film stock gives a softer contrast curve and allows us to make farther post processing easier. And the reason why we adjust the push pull slider is because the 500T film stock is balanced to tungsten, hence the T. So that's why we did the push pull slider to kind of change the tone of the colors just a bit. Next, enable expand and adjust the black and white points to your liking. For this image, I'm going to lower the black point just a touch. For this particular image, in my opinion, could use a little bit more contrast. So I'm gonna add contrast under the print section. Then I'll make for sure to go back to expand and readjust the black and white points. This image could use some more saturation. So under the film developer tool, use color boost slider and introduce more saturation. I mentioned earlier how these are clips taken right from my Sony camera. Uh, so this is just a beginner's look into using the plugin. There's a lot more to this plugin that you need to understand to become even more proficient with it. To find out what that information is, click on this video up here where we take an even deeper dive into Dehancer Pro.